new week, new plan. Today I'm doing pull, Just kicking things off with 100 reps on pull ups, just varying the grip every set, taking 60 seconds in between. Here you can see my little door frame pull up bar. They're pretty good to be fair. If you can get one for, say, I don't know, 15, 20 quid on Amazon or eBay or something, I weigh just shy of 90. I've I've done pull-ups on it at 95 and it's not taking the door frame down yet, so I'd recommend it. I'm just going to voice over this next bit because it's, it's pretty noisy outside and while I'm doing the exercise I can't actually talk, so this movement here is on my plan as a, a banded dumbbell row and this is kind of the interpretation that I got from it because I didn't know where else to put the bands. <coughs> uh, and then, because the dumbbells were actually being pulled together, I switched it out for a bar because it was supposed to be a wide sort of grip. This is my second attempt, so whenever you get a new plan, I do recommend just kind of playing around with different styles. And then the next clip, you're actually going to see me raise the bench up as well. So play around with the angles, play around with the feel, and you basically want to dial in. Even though it's a particular exercise, there's no set way of doing an exercise because everyone's going to feel an exercise in a different way. If you're doing a squat, for example, you want different foot stance, maybe high or low bar. If you're doing a deadlift, different stance again. And it all depends on your leverage and how your muscles are actually going to pull or push or maneuver through that. And then here, I kind of I figured out what the, the optimal position was. And then I just add a little bit more weight on the bar, see what kind of difference that could create with the exercise. It's, uh, it's another day, another workout. And this is one put together by Will. He's my con coach and I'll put his link here. It's a dumbbell complex with lateral raises and front raises. Do one up, one across, and then three seconds negative. Then back up, across, three seconds negative. Switch in between two. Once you've gone back from lateral raise, front raise, back, then that's one rep. So let's see if we can get sets of six. So there's actually five sets of this, so I'm not going to go up just yet. First week, let's see how it goes. I'm hoping this next one actually gets a few people doing some more creative stuff. The, the weight that I've been using is a little bit too light, but then the next weight up is a little bit too heavy. So what I've done is I've fitted one of the small weights with a, like a, a little wrist strap to the bar and that's actually been doing quite well for the last two sets it's not fallen off got one either side um see how it goes i think i'm gonna probably bump up a little bit more for the next set heavier the weight it's probably gonna fall off at some point but we'll we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it another session complete i'll list the exercise just here um pretty good session to be fair it's a little bit hard for me to try and get into the swing of things when it's not my own programming but so far so good. Today we've got legs. Um, I'll post all the exercises here. This is the first time I've run through this program so I'm not sure how this is going to go. It's more of a case of just figuring out different weights and how I get on with the sets. So I'll take you through that and show the exercises. You're probably not going to be able to hear me but we'll try this anyway. <clears throat> Over here we have a little setup for hamstrings. This is my first exercise. As you can 
see that. But I've just had a band around a nearby post, I sat on a bench, and we're doing some hamstring cuts. So I'm going to show you how those are looking at the end. This is going to be the true test, whether this fucking camera can actually hear me or not when it's outside in the wind. If it picks me up now, I'll be impressed. So I'm just kind of wandering around. Now I understand what people talk about when they talk about having vlogger arm where you, your arm starts to ache because you're holding a camera set up. I've got to admit, I might actually get some delts from this. <laughs> Delts or bicep, who knows? I haven't got either at the moment, just feeling small, fat, weak. So one of the questions I do get asked all the time is what kind of supplements do I take? Do I need to take this? Do I need to take that? And listen to so many different things, some of which I've never even heard of, and people are actually putting some kind of um, like priority to it, if that's what I'm trying to get at. As in, they list it higher up than it ever should be. Um, so I'll just run through literally very basic things I'm taking. So I have Total War pre-workout. Um, just taking one scoop per day. Flavor doesn't matter. That's just run out. So I've actually ordered. Um, I think it was. I don't know. I'll post it when I figure out what the name was. But that should arrive in the next few days. Next up we have creatine, it's just box standard creatine monohydrate and I just take two scoops of that every day which I think is about 7 or 8 grams on average and then I've got two bags here, they are just different flavours of protein so I can mix and match different flavours depending on what I'm going after. I can recommend both of these, I've got the it's by Bulk Powders, it's the Chocolate Peanut, and then the other one is the Chocolate Mint. I definitely recommend using a lot more, a lot less water than what they suggest on there. It's harder to mix, but the flavour is so much better if you can actually shake it for a little bit longer. So I'd, I'd definitely recommend that over what they're telling you. That's literally all I take. Oh wait, and I also take, where's it gone? This is not essential, but if you guys fancy taking that as well, then it's literally just some joint support. I've had issues with mine for a little while, so I'd rather be safe than sorry. A few other little bits in there. Um, and sometimes I'm on just like basic multi bits. Just, I don't, I've heard so many different things, whether they get absorbed or whether they don't, and I'd just rather have it and not need it, then need it and not have it, if that makes sense. And literally that is it. You you can pick most of these up pretty cheap. Um, the creatine monohydrate, if you're not taking that, it's it's like the it's the most researched supplement out there. So I would definitely recommend taking that. You can probably get a kilo for about 14, 15 quid on either my protein bulk powders or anywhere like that. If you, if you're spending more, you're wasting your money because it's just the same stuff that's inside. The protein, however, is a whey isolate, so it's a little bit more expensive than a normal protein, but I think that's more so because I'm dieting at the moment, so I'd rather have a, what I believe a better protein than just the standard whey. And that is literally the conclusion of my supplements. It's not very exciting, but it does the job. Well, I hope it does. <laughs>